Hola Tauruses, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of March 15th to March 21st. If it resonates, consider a personal reading, just send me an email or a DM and we can easily set that up. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guys of the Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Tauruses for the period of March 15th to March 21st? What do you see? What do you need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe, and closer to Divine through your messages? Tauruses, what do you see? What do they need to know? March 15th to March 21st. Any messages, please? What are the general energies for Tauruses? General energies for Tauruses. We have the Seven of Cups in the upright. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your weekly extra, which will be based on the lovers. In there, we'll answer who is your soulmate, how can you improve that connection, and what lessons will you learn from that love? Page of Cups in the upright in the challenge position. Mm, is this a love story, Taurus? Is this about love? Um, <laughs> in my, I had a lot of green tea today, a lot. In my playlist, 2021 sun moon predictions, what is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Advice, we have the two of wands in the upright. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, we end on the seven of seven of wands in the upright all right so th this seems like it could be a little bit romantic um you know what we'll just say emotional how about that um because emotions can apply to romance work family friends starting off with the seven of cups you guys have a lot of options available to you only you have confusion about which which one you should actually choose um this is like kid this is my kid in the candy store card look at this guy he's looking at all the cups and he's like wow what am i gonna pick i don't know there's so many options you know but i mean you know and some of these cups there's like jawbreakers you know and maybe licorice um maybe i shouldn't have did rock candy um <laughs> We don't know. We don't know what the hell's underneath a napkin. That could be anything like a popsicle or something, but we don't know what the flavor is, right? So, um, you know, you're, you're just kind of like, wow, it's all candy and there's so much of it, but I only like some of the candy. You only want to commit to a certain type of candy. Like I'm a chocolate person. So if, you know, if there's chocolate underneath that napkin, that's the one I'm kind of going for. Unless it's white chocolate. I don't like white chocolate. Um, but anyways, <laughs> you get it, right? Um, so that's the general, like the general thing. So what do I pick? What do I pick? What do I pick? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, too many options sometimes when it comes to the seven of cups. Now, the challenge is you want to pick something that is perfect for you. Not perfect. Maybe that wasn't the right word, but something that really that you connect with for an emotional standpoint. Okay. So um, something that's emotionally appealing to you. Um, you know, it could be love, it could be creativity, um, it could be your your work, it could be helping other people. Um, you know, the, the pages is a really kind of romantic or emotionally, um, you know, emotional connection like no other. Um, and you're hoping to make that connection with one of these cups that are over here, but it's a challenge because it's in the challenge position. Um, so I don't necessarily think that, um, you know which one of these cups actually has that so you might have to kind of take a chance i will say with the seven of cups it says make sure you you do your due diligence before you go ahead and decide so there you know if you need to kind of research and investigate things before you kind of nail a cup down then do that um because here the challenge is telling me that you don't know which one is actually going to fulfill you and, and sweep you off your feet so to speak advice two of wands in the upright so I feel like they're saying you have time on this, okay? You, you don't have to jump on everything right now. The two of wands, this guy's kind of chilling. He's between these two sticks. And this one's the, the the bracket down here is always like, oh, this is the safe route. Oh, this is like, you know, let me throw myself out there and see what adventures the world has for me because he's holding the world. But he's not going anywhere. I mean, he's kind of standing on his portico looking, looking out. Um, and, and just considering things. So I feel like the advice is they're telling you, you have time on this. You don't have to decide anything right now. Why not, you know, you just get to kind of hang out there and see how things flesh out. Um, 
you know, wait for results, wait for something to point you one way or the other. Um, you know, don't be hasty in regards to that. And the, the two is, um, it, it's deciding which way you're going to go, but it's also a card of inaction for me, um, for the wands. Now, I almost feel like moving forward, you want none of it. Um, I, I don't think any of them, you any of the options you want, because here's everyone trying to like talk you into something down here and you're like, no, 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 back off. Um, and, and you might just be saying that you need more time as you move forward, because I feel like whatever these sticks are, they're really trying to pressure you into deciding or pressure you into doing something. And you're holding your ground as best you can, even though they're being really oppressive. Um, and you're kind of realizing I can't make anybody happy, everybody happy, but I have to make myself happy so um you know there might be a little more urgency as you move out of this week or a little more pressure but um i see you kind of holding holding the line okay why is the seven of cups so it's just good because you guys are very um steady when it comes to making decisions you don't let anyone rush you into anything um and i think that's what the case is so so people are trying to push you into doing something that you're like hey i'll let you know when i'm ready why is the Seven of Cups here in the upright? Who is this person? What's this energy for Tauruses? Okay, so the Chariot card in the upright, which is the card of Cancer, tells me that you you have a specific goal in mind or a specific place that you want to get to. And you're trying to figure out which one of these cups is actually, which one of these cups is the best choice to kind of get you there. So which one of these... When, when you choose something, you want to make sure that you choose what is going to get you closest to your goal, but you can't know for certain right now. So for right now, you're just kind of looking and sort of figuring things out. But you already know the end point, I feel like, and you already know you're not going to compromise along the way. You're just trying to figure out which one of these options is going to help you get there sooner or perhaps easier. Why is the page picked here in the upright? Who is this person? What's this energy? So emotionally, you know what's going to fulfill you and where you want to go. You're just trying to figure out which route to take, I think. Okay. So we have the Four of Pentacles here in reverse. Um, I, I'm almost feeling with that that you are um, you're having a difficult time um, being flexible. Okay, that's probably the best word um, because it makes you feel uncomfortable. Usually, you know, you'll hold on to things to make you feel more secure um, before you go ahead and make a decision. Now everything's kind of up in the air and you're not being as adaptable as you should be. So you might want to be a little more flex or flexible, a little more tolerant of opinions or what have you um, while this is kind of going on, I'm getting. Why is the two of wands here in the upright for Tauruses? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the two of wands for Tauruses. Who is this person? What is this energy? Okay, so, and, and they're saying that it seems like whatever decision you're making, and this is why they want you to take some time to kind of think about it, because um, whatever you decide, it's going to be go time. Um, we have the death card in the upright. So they're, they're saying whatever you're going to decide, um, they're saying either leave, whatever you were in before and totally go with that decision and commit to that decision and it's like whatever the other decision was it's like it doesn't even exist um or they're either advising you to do that or you're deciding you're going to do that because um did i tell you this was the card of scorpio um because whatever you decide is going to have finality to it and it's going to have a big like um a big rebirth that's going to come out of it. It's going to be a whole new situation for you. So whatever you're leaving has to be dead and gone. Um, I'm feeling so that's why they're telling you to take your time on it. Um, why is the seven of wands here in the upright for Taurus? Is in regards to how they'll be moving forward. Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is the seven of wands here? Okay, so the high priestess here in the upright, and you're holding you're holding people off and pressure off or what have you, or you know people telling you what they think you should do, or because you want to use your intuition to know what is your rightful path and what is the right choice. You're trying to trust in yourself, not what other people's opinions are. So it's almost like you're holding off people, saying, "Look, I really appreciate you're telling me what I think I should do, but I have this." And I'm not going to do anything unless I'm comfortable with it internally. 
um, you know, intuitively it's telling me, yes, kind of go for it. Um, it's all the, the high priestess is about spiritually knowing what is the right path and trusting in that and kind of going down that despite, um, despite, you know, a veil. So you can't really see what you're getting into or mysteries or secrets or what have you. So it seems like everyone is kind of giving you an opinion, but, um, if you don't feel that it's right, you're not going to be able to go through with it. And that's what you're going to encounter after this week. So that is what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading, just send me an email or a DM and we can quickly set that up. Click on the link below for your Vimeo weekly extra which will be based on the lovers and that will answer who is your soulmate how can you improve your connection and what lesson will you learn from that love playlist 2021 sun moon predictions what is your ideal career based on your midheaven what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign ask me a question on instant go check me out on facebook instagram and tiktok like share subscribe and or donate otherwise i will see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye